Okay, so we were just looking at the number line. Just let me draw that for you again real quick. This might be helpful to you on a test, just so that you know where you are, especially when we start doing operations, adding and subtracting, knowing where you end up. I don't recommend you, I mean, you shouldn't have to do this every time. At the end of the semester, we should have this in our mind. We should be able to move mentally from one side to the other. Okay, but there's something here about these integers and real numbers in general that we have, and it's called order, right? When we talk about order, we talk about putting things in a particular order, a particular set, a particular arrangement, yes? And we can do that using these symbols. What does this symbol mean? That is the symbol for less than, and what about this guy? This is greater than. Okay. You guys know about arranging things. Okay. If you've ever been told, get an order from shortest to tallest, maybe you're taking a photo, okay. you know how to arrange things. So if I were to have, say, this number, and if, if I were to have 4 and 10, what is the symbol that I would put between them to tell me the order? It's either going to be greater than or less than. Which is it? It's less than, right? Now there are a lot of little tricks to help you remember which, you know, which symbol is which. What do they mean? Uh, one of my things is that look at the less than. It almost looks like an L, right? Like it's facing the correct way for an L. See that? Another thing is that I know when I was doing worksheets a long time ago, it was always like, all right, the you looked at it like a mouth, maybe a Pac-Man or an alligator or whatever it was. Which, oh, I got a funny story about that. So it's always going to be eating the bigger number, right? Because what we have here, it's all about greed, right? And we know this because we live in the U.S. It's all about greed. So make sure that you're always going to be eating the bigger number. See, I got upset when I was doing a worksheet a long time ago, and I said, I'm tired of it eating the bigger number. <laughs> so halfway through the worksheet, I said, it's going to eat the smaller number. Guess what I got on that? Guess what my grade was? Yeah, I got a 50. That was embarrassing. What if I have this? Negative 7 and negative 10. How do these compare in terms of the order? Negative 7 is greater than? Here's a connection that you can make. Make it to something that you know. Think about money. What would be, what, what's, what's greater? What, what's better for you, to lose 7 or to lose 10? Between these, it's, it's the lesser two. You want, you want the, you'd rather lose 7 as opposed to losing 10, right? And if you look on the number line, if you were to extend this, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and so on, you see that negative 10 is more on the left side, right? So this little point right here, this vertex of the symbol, should be pointing towards the number that's furthest on the left, further on the left. Like here, 4 is further on the left than 10, right? If I were to have negative 17 and 22, it should be less than, right? You want to be going towards the greater number, eating the greater number, so you'd be going towards the 22. Do you all agree? Okay, so please make sure you understand the order because this is going to come back to us. It's going to be uh, very, very important to us because we're going to use this idea of greater than and less than along with the concept about absolute value. Okay, what is absolute value? Do you guys know? Okay, good, that's why I'm here. Absolute value just means this. It is the distance from zero 
distance from zero on the number line. When I talk about the absolute value, I want to find out how far from zero is a particular number on the number line. And the symbols that we use will we'll do something like this. Okay. I use these two vertical bars to mean the absolute value. Now I'm just using x as a variable, as a, as a placeholder for any number that you come across. So this is, these are the symbols for absolute value. Okay. Now we can go into a very strict definition of absolute value, something that you might see in 0310 or college algebra. We're not going to do that right now. I just want us to work through some examples. If I say, what's the absolute value of negative 6? If I look on the number line, how many units, how far away from 0 is the number negative 6? It's 6 units. If I have the absolute value of 23, what would you say? How, how, many, how many units, how many spots away from zero is the number 23? Just 23. It's 23. Here's the thing about absolute value. It's always going to return back to you a positive number because absolute value is measuring what? Distance. Normally when we talk about distance or the length of something, we use positive numbers, right? So absolute value is going to return back to us positive numbers. Are you with me on that? Yeah. What's the absolute value of 3,072? 3, it's 3,072, right? If I ask you for the absolute value of negative 901, it's going to be 901 that's positive, right? Because how, how many clicks away from zero is negative 901? It's 901 spots away. Are you guys with me on that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we do here with this absolute value and the connection we're about to make here in just a moment is I want to talk about the strength of a number. Now, if I were to do this, if I were to have um, negative 901 and I wanted to compare this to the number 23, and I had to put an inequality symbol there, where I put less than or greater than. It's less than. Do you all agree? In terms of the order, negative 901 is less than 23. Yes? But in terms of what I call its strength, which of these numbers has, seems to be stronger? Which one would be stronger than the other guy? Well, in terms of the order of the number line, 23 is, is great. It's further on the right. But in terms of the absolute value, in terms of the strength of the number, who has a larger absolute value? 901. So if I can look at this and know, okay, you're further on the left. I got that. So you are less than 23. But this, if I had to compare, the guy, compare them in terms of their strength, we would say this guy is stronger based on the absolute value, right? Because you know, if you were to talk about your bank statements, <coughs> at the end of the month, you want to have more positive than you have negative, right? Because yeah. that means you're going in the right direction. You want the strength of your positive to be stronger than the strength of your negative numbers, right? You want the absolute value of your deposits to be more than the absolute value of what? Your withdrawals. You with me on that? 